Hi boys and girls, how are you today? It was such a nice weekend. The weather was beautiful. I hope you had the chance to get outside. I did some gardening and while I was gardening, guess who came by? Iris, she just walked right up my sidewalk and there she was. I had a nice conversation with her and her mom and her dad. That was so much fun. And I wanna share some other things that happened to me this weekend. I saw my friend Sylvie and she did a nice picture and I want to show you this. I'm so proud of her. Look at this. She has been practicing writing her name. She did a nice job, didn't she? Have you all been practicing writing your names? Everybody was getting so close to being able to do it. I bet you're all really good at it now. I want to show you something else too. This is something that Grace and her sister Margaret made. Look at this. They painted this beautiful sign for me. I'm going to have to find a special place to put that in my garden so everybody can see it, so they can share it. And look at this really nice picture that they made. That is so lovely. I love getting surprises from you. Do you like getting surprises from me? Did you like those bubbles? I saw a video of Luna and Paloma blowing bubbles in the house. That's so much fun. Did anybody else blow bubbles in the house? It was so nice out this weekend. You could blow bubbles outside, right? Well, for today, I was thinking we could take this picture. Do you recognize her? It's the gingerbread girl, right? And a lot of times after we read that book, children really like it if Sarah and I trace the picture from the book and then you like to color it in and decorate the dress with different kinds of candies and cookies. So I traced the picture and then I went over it with some Sharpies so it came out nice and dark. And then I copied a bunch of them at Staples and made some for everybody. So now you can all decorate the gingerbread girl's dress. So I wonder what kind of candies you're going to put on it. Maybe some candy canes or some candy corn. That's what she had in the picture. Or maybe there's something that you like better, like maybe some gummy fish or maybe some M&Ms. Those would all be beautiful on her dress. Maybe if you have some sparkles, you could put some sparkles on her dress. That would be like some sugar on top of the cookies. It would look so pretty. I think you probably have a lot of good ideas. So color her in, and then maybe you can show her to me. And I think that I forgot to send a picture to Max and Dylan and Luca, but don't you worry. This week, I will remember. I will put some gingerbread girls in with your goodies, and then you will be able to color them in. So that is a fun thing that you can do today. I think today is gonna to be another nice day. And so, let me see, I have some books somewhere. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I thought I'd read you some books, because you don't need to watch me coloring. You are good at that. You are an expert colorers. You can color those things yourself. But today I have Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? Look at that Polar Bear. He looks like a very friendly guy. Have you seen a Polar Bear in the zoo? I haven't seen a polar bear in a very long time. Look, there's that big polar bear. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Can you snort? <coughs> hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. What do you suppose a fluting sound sounds like? Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Have you ever heard a zebra make a sound? I have never heard a zebra make a sound. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Can you hiss? 
look at this big boa constrictor. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Who can trumpet like an elephant? Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Who can snarl like a leopard? Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Have you ever heard a peacock yelp? It's kind of a funny sound. Maybe you could make that sound. I don't know how to make it. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. I have heard a walrus bellow. They're very loud. Can you bellow like a walrus? Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. I can whistle. Can you whistle? You keep working on it. You'll get it. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children. Growling like a polar bear. Roaring like a lion. Roar! Snorting like a hippopotamus. Fluting like a flamingo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Braying like a zebra. <laughs> Hissing like a boa constrictor. Sss. Trumpeting like an elephant. Brumph. Snarling like a leopard. <laughs> Yelping like a peacock. Yep. Bellowing like a walrus. That is what I hear. Which animal would you like to be? I think that I might like to be the polar bear. How about you? That's a good thing to be. It's even better to be just you. And look at that rainbow. It's so pretty. Okay. Here's one called Stop That Ball. We like to listen to this book, and I may have read it, but I can't remember. I've read so many books. I have a big pile of books that I read, and I feel like I read this one, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna read it again just in case. If I did, it was a while ago. Look at that. That ball's hitting so many things. Stop that ball. I hit my ball. I made it fly. I hit my ball as it went by. It went around and then came back. I gave my ball another whack. I hit it high. I hit it low. I hit so hard the string let go. The string let go. There went my ball away up high, out past the wall. So I ran fast around the wall. I had to get my big red ball. I saw it jump. I saw it roll. It, and head right for an open hole. Look, at there it goes. Oh, it's like he got a basket. The hole was deep. The hole was black. Could I get my red ball back? What could I do? Say, this was bad. This was the only ball I had. And then a man put out his head. You hit me with your ball, he said. He was so mad, he sent my ball way down the hill. I saw it fall. I saw my red ball take a hop. And you know where I saw it stop? I saw it hop right on a truck. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what bad luck. The truck went down the hill and so I ran as fast as I could go. Look here, I called. I called out, say, you must not take my ball away. Look, it's at the very top of the truck. How is he going to get that ball? At last the truck came to a stop and my red ball was up on top. I saw the truck back up to dump. The sand came out. I had to jump. The sand came out, so did my ball. I saw it jump and bump a wall. I saw it jump right in a box. I saw it land up on some blocks. Doop, doop, it's going that way. 
And there it sat. I said, I bet that ball will not be hard to get. Oh, oh, now here was something new. The box went up, my ball went too. It went up high. What should I do? I just could not stand here and, and whine. I had to get that ball of mine. Where did it go? It went up, up, up on the elevator. What is he going to do? How is he going to get his ball? Here's your ball, called out a man. Now run and get it if you can. And then he gave my ball a kick. Oh, what a trick. Oh, what a trick. Now could I get it? I could try. My dog ran fast and so did I. Look, he kicked it way off of the top of the building. It went down, down, down. And look, here's someone on a bike that's following him. Maybe that's his sister. But not a thing went right that day. That dog of mine got in my way. Then down I went, and so did he. My ball went on ahead of me. Okay, where'd it go? Bounced off of the top of that little chimney, and it's going on to a hill. My big red ball went on its way. Would things go on like this all day? A man said, stop, stop, keep away. Do not go near that hill, I say. We are about to blow it up, so stop right here and hold your pup. There was my ball, my only ball. I could not get it after all. Can you see it way over there on top of that hill? Oh my goodness, what's happening here? Then boom, boom, boom. Oh, what a thump. I saw the hill just kind of jump. And then it shot up in the air and bits of it went here and there. Where was my ball? Where did it go? I could not see it high or low. Then there it was, high as a kite. Now I could get my ball all right. I said, I know it must come down and it will fall somewhere in town. Then I can find it. Yes, I can. And so I ran and ran and ran. I saw a house on fire ahead. My ball must not land there, I said. For if it does, it's gone forever and I will never get it, never. It's going right for that house that's on fire. But then some water shot up high. See, the firefighter saw the ball and shot some water at it. It hit my ball and made it fly. Boy, was I happy. This was fine. Now I could get that ball of mine. It got away from me somehow. My ball was in a ball game now. It hit the man who sold the pop. It went right on. It would not stop. It went right for the man at bat. I called, oh no, do not hit that. Then whack, he hit a long home run with my red ball, my only one. Here came my ball. It hit a tree and pow, it just about hit me. Then on it went. How could this be? Could this go on all day and night? It could do no, and it just might. This might go on all night and day. I saw it go another way. Now who could say where it might land? I saw it head right for a band. I saw a fat man in the band. He had a fat horn in his hand. Oh, what a thing to get into. If it went there, what could I do? Do you see? It's about to go into that tuba. Oh no, or maybe it's a sousaphone. I don't know but it's a big horn. Oh, what bad luck, my ball was stuck. And so the fat man could not play for my red ball was in the way. I saw him blow with all his might. Oh, could he blow it out all right? Look how hard he's blowing it. His cheeks are all puffed up. He's blowing very hard. Oh, what a blow, my ball shot out and it was gone or just about. I saw my ball head for a gun and then, oh boy, how I did run. My ball came down just like a shot. What did it do? Why, you know what. Where's that ball going? <gasps> Is it gonna go inside that cannon? I got up on that gun so fast, now I might get my ball at last. I put my head down into sea, but the, then a man took hold of me. He took me down. Get back, he said. That 
gun could blow away your head. It's never good to put your head into a cannon. Then, boom, boom, boom. Oh, what a thump. I saw the gun just kind of jump. It shot my ball up in the air. How high would it go and where? My ball went high up past the band, the tree, the game, the fire, the sand, the box, the blocks, then past the man down in the hole. I ran and ran. My ball went over all the town. And do you know where it came down? My ball was home. I ran so fast. And I could put it on, and now I could get my ball at last. And I could put it on the string. I was so happy I could sing. But by the time I got home too, someone, I do not know just who, had put my ball back on the string. That was a kind of funny thing, but I was happy anyway. I had my ball and I could play. I hit my ball. I made it fly. I hit my ball as it came by. It went around and then came back. I gave my ball another whack. I hit it high. I hit it low. I saw the string let go and then my ball was on its way again. Could this go on all day and night? It could, you know, and it just might. Bong, 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 bong. That boy had quite an adventure with his ball. Do you have a ball? I hope your ball doesn't take any trips like his ball. That was a hard ball to keep track of. Well, it looks like it's going to be another nice day out today. So I hope you get out and have a nice walk and have some fun. Oh, you know what I wanted to show you? Do you remember we planted some seeds a couple of weeks ago? How are your seeds doing? Do they sprout? I want to show you mine. They got so big. Look at these. That is my pea plant. It's very big. I planted some extra plants. I put some in my Easter basket and some in that black container because I had some extra seeds. But look, oh, these sunflowers have to get outside. That is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take these and put them in the garden so they can get a lot of sun and they can have more soil and they can grow. I hope your seeds are doing well. Maybe yours are ready to go outside too. And if you look, can you see the little curls on these? See them there? I'll put my finger behind it so you can see better. That is how the pea plant grabs onto things and climbs up some things. They like to have something like a fence or some string, something behind them that they can hold on to and they can climb up so that all of their flowers can hang down and then the peas can grow off the flowers. So that is what I'm going to go do. Whatever you do, have a good time today and I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Bye. I love you. See you later.